Hello and welcome to the third episode of the Travel BC series on our YouTube channel. This house was a beachfront property located on the Essawista Indian Reserve on Long Beach. We rented it through Airbnb and uh, I, I have mixed feelings about Airbnb but this one was great. This is the best place I've ever stayed at through Airbnb. People were awesome, very clean uh, and the location is amazing. It's right on the beach. Long Beach is the largest and the longest beach in the Pacific Rim National Park. It is located on the west coast of Vancouver Island between the towns of Tufinu and Ukluelet. The Tufinu Ukluelet Highway parallels the entirety of the beach. And this is the most popular surfing location in Canada, I believe. Or at least one of the most popular ones. But it is also popular with stunning views. It is incredibly beautiful beach. The entire Pacific Rim National Park is 511 square kilometers. And it is uh, separated into three sections. One is Long Beach, then there is the Broken Group Islands and the West Coast Trail. Today, we are only going to view and talk about Long Beach. There are many rocky islands around Long Beach. And this one here is one of the bigger ones and it's called Box Island. I just couldn't wait to get there. <laughs> we were even considering swimming a little bit. If it was required, it turned out it is, uh, the water is very shallow, so we didn't really need to swim. But keep in mind, the water is cold even in the summer. Uh, at the time we were there, it was around 15 degrees Celsius, and this is early September. But as the day progressed, uh, low tide came and uh, we realized that at this point, we can actually walk to this island. At the end of the day, some people got there without getting wet at all. And this is a beautiful island with lush rainforest on it. Uh, and it is also part of the Box Island Trail. This is a short, only 2.8 kilometers hike, which will take you through lush rainforest and gentle meandering streams before arriving at the spectacular Long Beach. And if you're here at low tide, you can walk to the island, Box Island that is, uh, but if you come in at high tide, you're gonna have to get wet. You can still walk, <laughs> you probably won't have to swim, but you're gonna get wet to get to the island. And there is a huge difference between low and high tide. Um, I would say approximately 200 meters is the retreat of the water. In terms of water level, it is about two meters. And this, of course, can vary throughout the year. In uh, some cases, it can be up to three meters, the difference uh, in the level of the water. But yes, this part here is underwater during high tide. And here is some of that rainforest on Box Island. That rainforest is made possible by, of course, the rain <laughs> falls on um, not only on the island, but the entire area. It rains a lot there. It pretty much rains every day in the winter and every other day in the summer. And on top of that, the winters are very, very mild. Um, generally, temperatures are around 10 degrees Celsius on the plus side. The lowest temperature ever recorded was minus 11 degrees. 
But on the other hand, the sonors are also very mild. Uh, generally, uh, the average high in the summer is around 20 degrees Celsius, with the highest temperature ever recorded at only 33.5 degrees Celsius. That is 92 Fahrenheit. The beach is exposed to the open Pacific Ocean, which is why it generates pretty decent waves and this is why it is very popular for surfing. And surfers, they actually prefer the winter. In the winter, usually there are bigger waves, it is more stormy weather. Um, so they would go and surf during this time. Uh, and in the winter, the temperature of the water is around 7 degrees Celsius. And in these shots here, you can kind of see how far the water has retreated during low tide. And the moon over the Pacific Ocean at night was awesome. Also, the sound of the waves at night was something different. Um, it, it sounded like nothing I've heard before. This, it, it is very noisy, but like a pleasant noise. I can't really describe it. You just have to experience it. <laughs> and here we have high tide. You can see how close to the house the water actually gets. And Box Island is actually an island again. <laughs> It looks like I'm casually walking into the water here, going to swim, uh, but the water was cold. Very cold. Uh, it was around 15 degrees. I mean, it's bearable. You can jump in, but as soon as you jump in, like it, your whole body is telling you, get out, <laughs> get out as soon as you can. Uh, so surfers, there were surfers there. All of them were wearing wetsuits. Uh, if you go uh, surfing there, whether it is in the winter or in the summer, you need a wetsuit. And you can see now how quickly I'm coming out. My friend was also pretty quick to come out. But yes, we both went in second time that same day. A like and subscribe would be very much appreciated. And don't forget the notification button that will notify you every time we upload awesome videos like this one. There are some dangerous rip currents and uh, this is why swimming is not advisable there. And I didn't really see uh, too many people swimming, we were <laughs> the only ones. I did see a couple other people that actually went, uh, jumped in, I can't really call that swimming. Um, but yeah, most people don't really swim there. Some of this scenery here might look familiar to you if you have seen War of the Planet of the Apes. 
A scene from that movie was shot on this beach and they were riding horses here. With this, I'm gonna wrap it up for today. Thank you very much for spending the time and I hope I'll see you in our next episode. Goodbye.